Hey everybody, it's Kevin from Syracuse.com and we are here today to talk about plastic bags. Over the last couple of weeks, we have been asking you to send us all of your questions on the state's upcoming plastic bag ban and we are here today to answer some of the big ones. Question number one, what are the basics? When does this thing start? Who's covered? What's exempt? So the bag ban goes into effect on March 1st and it covers any entity in New York State that's required to collect state sales taxes. So that obviously covers grocery stores, but it also covers other retailers like Target, Walmart, Kohl's, Old Navy, small businesses. Anybody that has to collect state sales taxes is going to be covered by this ban. Uh, as far as what is exempt, you will still be able to get bags for things like produce, raw meat, raw fish, uh, takeout at restaurants, garment bags from dry cleaners, trash bags are exempt, like zip top bags. You're going to be able to get all of those after March 1st, so plastic is not going away completely. So a lot of you apparently have been saving your old single-use plastic bags from grocery stores and using them for other things like little garbage cans, pet waste, all sorts of stuff, and you are wondering what to do. Uh, this is a, a pretty easy question. There are a lot of different plastic bags out there in stores and online that you can get all for specific tasks. So things like little garbage bags for, that are made just for small trash cans and uh, pet waste bags, these little rolls of pet waste bags you can get in pet stores or online. They're covered by exemptions in the ban, so you'll still be able to get all these types of bags uh, even after the ban goes into effect. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me if you are going to be allowed to take your old plastic bags that you have saved and then bring them into the grocery store and have them put your groceries in those bags after the ban. So the answer to that question is yes. The bag ban law actually requires stores to allow you to bring your old saved up plastic bags back in and use them for your items. In fact, the law says that stores are not allowed to turn away any bags at all. So any type of bag you bring into a store, they have to let you use it to take away your items. How clean are reusable bags? Spoiler alert, they're not very clean. Researchers in, in one study talked to a bunch of people and uh, asked them about their bag cleaning habits. And something like 97% of the people in this one study said that they never cleaned their reusable bags. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. Clean your bags. Uh, I talked to a food safety expert at Syracuse University, and she said that at the very least, you should be cleaning your reusable bags once a week. If you're using them for something like raw meat, you should just clean it immediately. Clean it after every use. Uh, as far as how you clean them, um, if you have the, the plasticky bags like this that you get from the grocery store, you can wash these out with soap and water. You can wipe them down with disinfecting wipes. You can spray them with disinfecting spray. You can do the same thing with the insulated bags that you get a lot of different places. Um, the food safety expert I talked to also recommended getting at least one cloth or canvas bag like this and using that exclusively for things like raw meat, raw poultry, and uh, then when you're done, you can just take this bag and throw it right in the washing machine and you don't have to worry about it getting, getting other stuff nasty. Thank you all so much for sending all of these questions on plastic bags. They've been really good questions and please keep them coming. Uh, if you have more questions on the state's plastic bag ban, please feel free to send them my way. We'll dig into them and keep trying to find the answers before the ban goes into effect on March 1st. Thanks everybody.